This is Luke 14 and 26. If any man come to me and hate not his father and mother and wife and children and brethren and sisters, yea, in his own life also, he cannot be my disciple. Rock the Yahweh, Rock the Yahweh Shai. All praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Yahweh being the name of the Father, who people who ignorantly call God, Yahweh Shai is his son, who people who ignorantly call Jesus, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. That's in the name of the Holy Spirit. And that's where we get our revelation, our knowledge, our wisdom, and understanding through these scriptures. Peace and blessings to you, Akim, out there that's constantly fighting the good fight of faith. Lord will to the end. And double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone that taught us his truth. And Lord will this lesson be edifying to the elect. Uh, going in today on basically, you know, counting the costs. You know, just really uh, having to knowing what we're getting involved in. You know, you come into this truth and, and we have to really realize what we're a part of, you know, and what we're, what we have to really give up. And ultimately that's everything. That's like that, uh, that scene in the matrix where he said, you have to, you have to learn to let go, uh, Neo, you know, when the, when the bottom fell out and it was just like everything, the whole scenery changed. And that's how, you know, coming into this truth, we have to be willing to let it all go because everything is based off of faith. Things are going to happen in, in, in this walk and things happen in this walk, meaning in this truth that it's, it's not a, you can't, you can't, uh, well, like they say, you can't make this up. Things are happening and things happen that, you know, are, are really it's because everything is spiritual. The scriptures speak about we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers and darkness in high places. This is a spiritual battle that we're a part of and, and the things that are going to happen. You know, we have to be willing to let and forsake everything as the scripture speaks. It says it's, it's, it, it specifically are saying different people that that are high would be considered high uh, value in our life. It says, it's starting off with your father. And you know, Jake, when he does have a relationship with his father, that he's high on his, high on his uh, list as far as being somebody dear to him. And this doesn't mean that we, you know, literally hate, you know, your father and your mother. Because that would be contrary to what the scripture speaks on about honoring your father and mother. But it's saying not putting them over Yahweh Hashem Shai. If it comes, anything comes in between, hey, we have to cut it. So it says, if any man come to me and hate not his father and mother and wife, you know, Jake and his wife, once he become, because, you know, your first connection is your mother and your father. If you got them in your life, that's usually your first connection and you, you become real close. And then as you grow, you know, you have a wife, which is, you know, scripture speak about that. You know, you leave your mother and father and you become one with your wife. So that becomes a super bond. And then it says in children, because after you have a wife, you know, you everything being equal, you have children. And then that's, a you know, come out of you. So you become really uh, attached to them. And then it says, and then it, you know, it goes lower in rank as far as, you know, usually how it goes. Then you got your brother, you know, and scripture speak about, you know, uh, no greater love than a man to have uh, lay his life down for his brother. And so even though that's brothers in the, you know, that walk and talk and, you know, deal like we deal, but, you know, you could have a natural brother and it says your sister, sisters. So you can have, you know, your your uh, siblings in this, that not in this true, but siblings. And then you have to really separate yourself from them. That's why this thing is really, uh, it's a solo. 
it's a solo thing because the Heavenly Father, he's not how contrary how the, the churches are about it and, you know, all these different denominations and even some of these Israelite camps, you know, I'm thinking of purple, you know, the IUIC, how they, you know, going out and marching, you know, they looking to have marriages and, you know, they trying to be like the military and recruit people into it. Hey, the Heavenly Father, he's not about that. He's, he's about a small remnant. He's more of a, 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 a special ops type of uh, power. You know, he's he, ones and twos. And he because he, he knows that uh, he's looking for the, the, the quality of men, women and children instead of the quantity of men, women and children. It says, yea, in his own life also, we have to be willing. And, you know, at times, you know, you may put yourself uh, at the bottom. You know, you start putting others before you, you know, because you care for them other people. But then. You come into this truth, you gotta, you gotta readjust. You gotta say, nah, man, it, it, I'm trying to work out my own salvation with fear and trembling, and, and you become uh, selfish in that term. You know, you're not selfish as far as you know, not putting brothers and you know uh, others before you, but you really start understanding that what's most important is ultimately us individually receiving our salvation because hey we can't depend on somebody else to get us into the into the those chairs into the kingdom we have to really work out our own salvation you know that's why it don't matter the time like you could look at the time and you know you be like damn man you didn't did everything you did throughout the day but what's most important if that don't get put on the board if that don't it's not on your to-do list and get checked off hey we should really uh, evaluate that, evaluate ourselves, you know, as the scriptures speak about, uh, uh, examine ourselves, whether that I'll be in the faith, because we don't want to be left out, so we don't want to be forgotten, so why should we forget, you know, what's most important, and that's, you know, spreading this truth of Yahabah Shem So it says, um, in his own life also, he cannot be my disciple, and that's what we're looking for. We're looking to be part of the disciple of Yahweh Shem Yahushua. We want to uh, be a part of this, so we're going, we're going, are going to have actions that go along with us saying that. Be doers of this word, not just hearers only, deceiving our own selves. So, hey, we're going, we're going. When it come down to it, we, hey, we're going to push this truth because it matters. It matters, man. It builds our own faith. It, it builds the faith of those that hear. You know, it edifies because that's the whole purpose of us doing this. I'm going to jump to this next one. This is Philippians chapter 3 and verse 8. It says, Yea, doubtless, and I count all things but loss for the excellency of the knowledge of Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things and do count them but dung that I might win Hamashiach. And that's what we're looking for, man. We will willing to count everything as dung, doo-doo, you know, to win the approval, salvation, our crown. For Yahweh Shah say we we're willing to, to to let it all go. We we putting all our chips in on this. We don't have no secondary. We don't have no no backup plans. This is this is it. This is our plan. <laughs> this is our backup plan. So I'm gonna jump to this next one. This is Ecclesiastes two and verse seventeen. Ecclesiastes two and seventeen. Therefore, I hated I hated life because the work. That is wrought under the sun is grievous. Hold on. I don't think that's it. Okay, that's. I'm going to read it again. Ecclesiastes 2 and 17. Therefore, I hated life 
because the work that is wrought under the sun is grievous unto me, for all is vanity and vexation of spirit. Yea, I hated all my labor which I had taken under the sun, because I should leave it unto the man that shall be after me. And who knoweth whether he shall be a wise man or a fool, yet shall he have rule over all my labor, wherein I have labored, and wherein I have showed myself wise under the sun, this is also vanity. So everything, you know, is all it's all BS, man. It's all we should be willing to let everything go because all this, you know, these things, these these even these people, man, people are all vain. You know, us having uh, uh, trying to be connected to everybody in this world and, you know, the social media, all these different platforms and trying to uh, appease to the masses. Hey, who who should we ultimately be trying to please, man? We should be endeavoring to please your Habashim Yahweh not worried about what man, you know, being a pleaser of man. All right. I'm going to read this one in uh, in the NLT. It says, Ecclesiastes 2 and 17. So I come, so I came to hate life because everything done here under the sun also is under the sun is so troubling. Everything is meaningless, like chasing the wind. <laughs> they had to understand it like, man, this is all bullshit. Because once you start uh, are coming to this truth and everything starts more and more starts to uh, be open, become open up to you. You start really understanding how all this stuff is vain, man. All this stuff is BS. You start caring less about things. You know, you just really are concerned about your daily bread. That don't mean, you know, you don't, you don't uh, strive to, to, to do, you ain't a, a lazy bum or nothing, but you know, you could really care less about the things of this world as people are, you know, because you could see how vain it is. It says, verse 18, I came to hate all my hard work here on earth, for I must leave to others everything I have earned. Because you understand, hey, once I'm gone, hey, the things ain't going with me. So to hell with this stuff. But Lord will, you know, we here until Yahweh Shai return. And that really is not going to matter. Everything is going to be melted, going to be burnt up, turned into ashes. It says, verse 19, and who can tell whether my success successors will be wise or foolish, yet they will control everything I have gained by my skill and hard work under the sun. How meaningless. You know, you, you can have some, some reprobate as children, you know, that end up, if you were to have some type of value, and they end up getting it and the shit go to shits or or uh, the government could end up getting it because you didn't pay your taxes from years behind back. Anything, all kind of is. So you understand more and more that hey, this place is, is, is vain. It's, you find out that the property that you have is really not yours because you got to constantly pay property taxes on, on the, the house that you pay off over it took you 30, 15 30 years to, to pay off, but but you find out if you don't pay that damn property tax that, that that land is really not yours. That house is really not yours. And how can that be? You done paid umpteen hundreds of thousands of dollars for this for this property, but now come to find out because you don't pay uh a five thousand or whatever to to pay off this to to pay this this yearly annual property uh tax then it could your 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 whole place could be taken from you and this ain't our rest we un and we understand that too you know and that don't mean if you can if you could get it hey by all means you know the scriptures speak about use the world but don't abuse it so if you can get what you can get out of this hey by all means i'm gonna jump to this next one this is john chapter 12 In verse John 12 and 25 says, he that loveth his life shall lose it. And he that hateth his life and this world shall keep it until life eternal. 
But that's why it's all is is best just to, you know, really release, man. Have faith in Yahweh Shem Shah and and really just let go of the things of this world that you can get so caught up and grown up. If you ain't raised in the truth, a lot of times your mind state will be on having that, you know, that that American dream. You know, that house and picket fence and the dogs and the wife and children. When in actuality, hey, that's not that's not the case, man. You know, it's best just to have your own, you know, have your own, you know, have live a solo life, man, because the the majority are not about this truth, man. They're not waking up thinking about it. They're not going to sleep thinking about it. Their their thoughts are concerns of the things of this world. And and it's no longer where you 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 kind of uh, get callous over it after a while. You kind of be like to hell with them, you know. And you just over over time, you just be like, man, hey, what will be will be, and just let it go, you know. These people are, are born in vain, hey. So so be it, man. Hey, that's your that's you would this what you were set up for. You were set up, you know, to be opposition. You really. And and it's not that you you hate me or any of that. Really, you hate Yahweh Shah. So hey, I'm just like how the scripture speak how he says, I hate them that hate you. So I hate these people, man. I hate them with a perpetual hatred hatred too. I hate you like you hate me. I hate you back, man. You know. But this is uh, and it's okay. You know, we come to the to the realization that hey, this is not for everybody. This is uh first Peter chapter two. And, and we ain't got time to, to try to uh, bribe you or, you know, scripture say through the fear of the Lord, we persuade men. So if you don't have that fear of your how about Shemia was shot, then, you know, really, you ain't going to be able to grasp it. You're not because you, you don't have a fear. You thinking that it's all uh, uh, peaches and cream. But we understand, man, once we woke up to this, we understand how it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. So we endeavoring to do what's right. We endeavoring to, you know, really be on our on, on our P's and Q's and, and you know, really uh, be servants unto Yahweh Shem Shah. This is First Peter chapter 2 and verse 19. It says, for this is thankworthy if a man for conscious toward the most high endure grief, suffering wrongfully, because that's what's what is it's a possibility that's going to happen. You're going to have to suffer wrongfully. Things going are going to be done, may be done and said about you. That is not true. But what do you what, what you going to try to buck up against it? That goes to that to that scripture in the beginning. I was brought out even your own life. We gotta be we gotta be willing to forsake our own life in this. So when you come up and somebody got something to say about you and it's not true, hey, we have to do like these scriptures say: endure grief and suffer wrongfully. It says, "For what glory is it if when ye be buffeted for your faults, ye shall take it patiently?" But if when ye do well and suffer for it, ye take it patiently, this is acceptable with the Most High. That's when he sees like, okay, you really, you really about this, you know, you really about this because you ain't did nothing wrong, but you, you getting accused as if you were wrong, but you know, you ain't, you're not retaliating. You're not going all off the hinges, just taking it in and, and, and still being patient, meaning suffering. As Yahweh Shai did. Let me get this one. I believe this is the last one. Let's see. Yeah, this is the last one. This is Revelation 12 and 11. I'm going to close it on this one. Revelation 12, verse 11 says, And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb. Is that right? Let me make sure. Yes. This is Revelation 12 and 11. It says, and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony. And they loved not their lives unto the death. And that's how we have to be. We have to be willing as Yahweh Shah did. He loved not his life until the death. That's what he did. You know, we, 
and and we are going to have that uh if if that does happen cuz the scriptures speak about uh some are going to be martyrs you know but again that that goes to that point where it says even your own life but he's going to give us if that is our lot man he's going to give us what's necessary to be able to endure that you know that lot of being a martyr you know of course lord will know but hey we don't know who we don't know who's who, whose lot that is and it's true but you know he's going to give grace and he's going to give them that ability to be able to endure it and go through it and then you know those that die and yahweh shah should rise first you know so hey, it's a win it's a win on that you know so lord will this was edifying to the elect out there i hey, just really uh forsaken oneself in this truth you know really not considering um our own life as as we ought to really like you say count it as done you know really count this this time that we hear is is done man just you know give us today our daily bread that prayer and really Pray that Yahweh Shem Yahshua just continue to keep us in the spirit and take not his Holy Spirit from us and allow us to, you know, continue to strive and, and uh, serve him. Lord, what is that a fine to the elect out there? And with that, all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles, the elders of Great Millstone, Tweet, Peace, Salakia, Peace, and Blessings to Yuakim out there that's constantly fighting this good fight of faith. Lord will to the end. Till next time, Lord will. Shalom.